Hey, uh, can we all gather up? Everyone, let's go. Gather up, gather up real quick. I've got, uh, I've got some new intel. Waiting? There you go. Finally back here. Alright. Um, okay, so I just wanted to call you all in here. We've got more information on the escaped uh, inmates from the Liberty County Prison. Right, so let me go and pull up some uh, video onto the TV here. CCTV has been released by uh, LCSO, so let me go and put that on there. Alright, if you want to take a look at the TV there, we've now got some CCTV video of the inmates that escaped earlier this morning uh, heading down towards what looks to be the farms. You can see them escaping by the back of the prison there and then running pretty much through the middle of the deserted road towards the farms. From our past experience, I believe we can all come to the conclusion that they're heading towards Springfield. There's not really anything in the farms unless they're heading to the gas station to take a car, but it's very unlikely on a quiet day. So most likely they're heading to Springfield to gather resources. Um, yeah, bounty is set to 10k at the moment. Sheriff's office has just confirmed that. So 10,000 for the bounty, and that's the two of them, by the way, that's the two of them. There is an ATM at Springfield, there's shops there, there is cars, there's a car park. So I think, I think we have a pretty good belief that they could be heading towards Springfield. So now we know which direction they're actually heading and where they are more likely to be seen now. I think this is a good time to actually head down. Now, yeah, this, uh, there is a problem. Springfield, though it's a small town, there is still a lot of areas to canvas. There's apartments, there's houses, there's forest areas. Even this is technically Springfield, uh, Hyrop Park. So, you know, they could be everywhere. They could be everywhere. So, yeah, let, we're going to head down. We're going to go and ask businesses. We need to be two steps in front of police if we want to catch them and actually get this bounty as well. So, uh, get everything. We're going to load up into a truck in five minutes. We may partner up and kind of walk around on foot. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we get there. Uh, but if it is still raining, then we're going to try and keep as dry as possible. Meet at the van in five minutes. We're going to head down to uh, Springfield and uh, s officially start this. Try and get ourselves a bounty by the end of the evening. Rainy afternoon, so let's load up into the truck. We got everything? Channel 2. Alright, radio's on channel 2. Radio's on channel 2. Um, okay, load up, load up. We got everything in the back. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. We don't have the uh, the bed cover on the back here today, but that's fine. I just gotta put the lights on. Even though it's only 2 o'clock, it's nearly pitch black outside. It's actually crazy. Uh, crazy that it gets so dark. Uh, hopefully we don't have to use any of that and we can bring them in, but given the fact that they did escape the Liberty County Prison, which, you know, isn't the max security, but it is renowned to be a, a relatively secure prison, I'd uh, say they have some tricks up their sleeve. Now, we have no clue whether they're armed. Uh, I do believe LCSO issued a statement on uh, their Twitter account that, you know, be careful of them and whatnot, as they always do with any incidents like these, but, you know, we're, uh, we're here to get the bounty, honestly. We know what uh, to be careful of, but yeah, we're here to get the bounty. 10k. That's that's a relatively big one as well. And for two people. Most likely they are sticking together if they escape together, so, you know, that gives us uh, higher odds. Right, it does look like Springfield Police are here, and I'm not surprised either. They're definitely going to be looking for the escaped convicts if they're around this area as well. So, we got to be quick, alright? we got to be quick since... Uh, yeah, GSP as well. LCSO, GSP, Springfield Police, they're all they're all going to be down here. So we've got a lot of competition. Yeah, I think we're splitting up is the best idea for this. So we're going to go in two groups. Um, we're going to head to a couple of different businesses. Just keep uh, popping between businesses, people on the street. We're looking for any intel. We've got no leads whatsoever. And that's what we're looking for, okay? So we're looking for any information they have, directions, anyone who may be friends with them. Unlikely since they've been in there a while from what I've heard, but yeah, any info we have got. Uh, let's go. We're gonna head down to the bakery in Rick and John's, first of all. You guys, if you wanna head down to the barbers and uh, keep on communication over the radio, don't get involved with the law enforcement since they're gonna slow us down and we don't wanna get involved with them. And we're looking for hotspots, ATMs, cars, any anything they may need or take. All right, let's go. Keep on constant communication. We'll see you guys uh, Rendezvous back here in an hour if all goes to plan. Let's actually get the flashlight out here since it's incredibly dark. Lots of clouds, rain. Uh, so let's try and get a move on quickly. We're going to head uh, first of all down to the bakery, talk to them. I wouldn't be surprised if law enforcement have already talked to them, but um, any information we can get will help us. CCTV can help as well, but then again, 
uh, store owners are not obligated to give us CCTV since, you know, we're not law enforcement. So it's a bit harder for us to gain uh, any information like that. So it's kind of just going off word of mouth, really. Rick and, oh, Rick and John's is closed. Well, that's unfortunate. Is the bakery open? Or is that closed as well? Oh, no, I see some inside. All right, let's uh, give this a shot, shall we? Hey, uh, good afternoon. We're just uh, wondering if you had uh, any intel. We're, we're here with the bail enforcement. We're not here to disturb you or anything. We're just wondering if you had any intel on the two inmates who escaped. We're looking for them. We're just trying to, um, you know, take them take them back into prison, uh, keep the neighborhood safe. So we're just wondering if you had any intel you were able to give us uh, regarding their location, if you've seen them or if you know where they could be heading around here. I think I remember seeing someone in an orange outfit earlier. Oh, that, that could, yeah, that could be something. Anything helps, really. So even if the information seems small, it can help. And uh, yeah, lots of police around here. They're outside the... Okay, let, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going here. Uh, outside running, not sure what they were doing. Did you, did you see which uh, direction they were running in? I think they went right, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just going to call from the other guys. That's uh, rendezvous back at the truck. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your afternoon. Enjoy your afternoon. And uh, Springfield police are here. Not sure what is going on, but let's rendezvous back. Uh, they think they saw them, so let's go. We would go and check out what's going on at the theatre, but the problem is we can't enter if police are already there because it's then classed as a police investigation and a, a crime scene of sorts. So we got to get there first. Hey, uh, you guys see anything? We were just talking with the bakery store owner. They said they went right on the street, and I believe they were talking down your way. Did you see anything peeking next to the parking lot? Oh, they're really playing that risky then if they're just out in the open. Orange pants. Yeah, I suppose that matches them. Um, yeah, there are officers down at the Springfield Theatre, but we can't go in to check it out, unfortunately. All right, should we circle around near parking lots? Uh, it would make sense if they're near a parking lot trying to um, jump a car. That would make sense. I think the best place to check are the parking lots, the mod shop, and the gas station. Those three locations are quite uh, hot topics, um, especially if they're wanting cars. So let's get going. A lot of Springfield police around here, so we've got to get, get, get a move on quickly. Keep an eye out. We're not going to search the entirety of the parking lot. There will be police in there as well, so just keep an eye out. Um, I th yeah, we're definitely going to be looking for cars. Places where cars are going to be located. Oh, look at that. It's weird seeing everything so empty. Like, uh, normally Joe's repair is, well, full. Why don't we go and pull over here and actually question? Uh, okay, oh, hold on. Someone hop out of the car. Someone hop out of the, out of the car. Go and grab them. Go and grab them real quick. Yeah, see if we can get any intel from them. I don't know. I've seen them running around, so maybe, maybe they've seen something. I'm not a person to run around in the rain like that, but yeah, maybe they have seen something. Just need any, any intel, really. Hey, we're with the uh, bail enforcement, as uh, my partner said just there. We're, we're looking for uh, the two inmates who escaped the Liberty Prison, uh, Liberty County Prison. Yeah, two inmates escaped earlier today. Wondering if you have any intel you're able to provide us. You know, we're just trying to keep the town safe, so trying to bring them back into custody as quickly as possible. Afternoon, officer. Afternoon. We're just uh, in search. Yeah, yeah, we're just uh, talking to one of the citizens here uh, in search of the... Uh, two escaped convicts, as I'm sure you are as well. I encountered them and they grabbed my jersey. Interesting, so they are looking for clothes. Yep, alright, we will do. We will do, officer. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your service. Good luck. If they are looking for clothing, then surely they're going to be heading somewhere where there is clothing. Liberty Apparel, is that even open at this time? You checked it before. Alright, we gotta go and check it again. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. We appreciate your tip. Uh, good luck on your run tonight. Good luck on your run. I know you guys checked that before, but if they were taking clothes and if they're in search of clothes to try and change their outfit, then maybe, maybe, who knows, it, it could be crazy, but give it a shot regardless. Let's go and park up here and, uh, all right, let's go, let's go. Liberty Apparel's just up there. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, get a move on. All right, so we're heading down to Liberty Apparel now. Um, yeah, keeping an eye around us as well. Quick entry, quick entry, people. All right, let's go. Hey, hands in there, hands in there. All right, against the back wall, let's go. Keep against, get against the back wall. All right, I've got one over here, and uh, we've got one person over there. All right, perfect. Let's, uh, on the, on your knees. Get on your knees, on your knees, please. On your knees. They have the similar hair. They look very similar, but I don't know if they are. I know that person is. They're identical. They're also wearing an orange jumpsuit, but... Hey, all right, look, we're just, uh, taking you in. We're just gonna pat you down, okay? Uh, we're not arresting you at this time being. We're just, uh, with the bail enforcement. All right, can you go and stand up for me, please? You can go and stand up now. Oh, ID card. Sorry, do you work? Okay, police are here. 
Guys, police there. Uh, you work- do you work at the store? Right, okay, sorry. My bad. Alright. Did you know that you had an inmate? Did you know that you had an escaped inmate inside your store? Because there's someone over there that we've just taken in. Uh, you guys stay here for the moment. We've got police outside. We've got to sort that out. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, look, nothing we can do about that. Um, we're gonna get them out of your hair now. Do you remember, we've got to be friendly with the law enforcement here. Alright, uh, keep them inside the store. I'm gonna go out and talk to them, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Alright, we're with the bail enforcement. We're with the, the bail enforcement, okay? Alright, we've just got an inmate inside the store who we've taken into custody. Hey, look. Yeah, I'll, I'll put my hands up. I'll put my hands up. I'll turn around, sure, but yeah. Check my pocket. I've got my ID in there. Look, I've got my ID in there. I've got my firearms license in there. Okay, we're, we've got all the rights to do this. And we have the inmate in, in uh, zip ties inside. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we've got the inmate inside the store now. We've also got a store worker. Uh, the inmate has been taken into custody. Look, um, we're going to take them back to the station. Alright, we're going to take them back to the station, collect our bounty, since we rightfully picked them up. Look, sorry, what, what do you mean? We've done this before. We've done this before. Uh, we're, we're fine taking them back in... Actually, good point, we don't have a, we don't have room in our truck. Um, you're taking them back to your station, is that right? You, t you take them back to your station into the holding cells. For, yeah, for processing, right. Are we allowed to follow you back? Because surely we're allowed to take them back, but if you are so insistent in taking them back, we're going to follow you back to the station to ensure we actually do get our money. Since 10k is a lot just to let go. That's fine. Okay, look, inmates inside, we've got them in, uh, we've got them in custody there. We're going to follow you in our van back to the station to ensure we get our money. I appreciate you got to do your job, but, you know, we've also got to make money somehow. Stay in the waiting room. Okay, right. Um, we'll go and hand them over there. Since, yeah, we don't actually don't have enough space in our van to take them back. Right. It's, it's always a bit complicated with law enforcement. Um, but we got them. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Uh, I talked to the officer. They said we can have the money if they take them back to the station. So the plan is we're going to follow them back. Since I don't entirely trust the fact that they won't just forget us for about us and not give us the money. So, yeah, Splin, as usual. As usual. Hey, can you just stay with here? Make sure law enforcement actually do take them in. We'll just wait in the truck and uh, we'll then follow them back, alright? Uh, I just do want to make sure law enforcement are taking them back properly to their station. They're just going to stick with them. Make sure law enforcement load them up and don't take them off somewhere else. Anyways, good job, guys. Good job. Um, yeah, we'll hop back in the truck, drive down to the station and uh, collect our money's worth for the day. 